this Don Quixote is a fresh way of trying to tell the story, a story that the ballet world knows very, very well, but it's trying to give it a, a, a sort of contemporary feel. Carlos was really, really keen to free it up visually. It's still classical and it's still, you know, traditional in many ways, but we, we chose to inject it with colour and also look at pantomime and, and, and find the fun in the dance. Okay, from the top. I'm a great believer that when you're designing on stage that you find your own theatrical language. I start with sketches. Then I would build a 1 to 25 model, which this all is. And it is in an insane detail for, you know, the carts, putting it next to a figure so you can see how big everything is. So there's a real understanding, as best we can, when we get onto the stage. It first of all starts with the prologue in Don Quixote's bedroom. And I wanted that first set to be small and contained, like the beginning of a book. And you're not quite sure what direction it's going to go in. And then I wanted to try and get a sense that the pages of the book are opening up. So we have the set with giant doors like a book opening into the world and into the town square. We then go to um, the, the gypsy encampment. And that's another whole different look. It's a different feel, it's a different smell, it's different light. And um, then we go into the tavern in Act 3, which again is very, very different. I wanted that to be underground and dark and mysterious, lit with candlelight and, and much darker. So I was trying all the time to contrast the scene, so it's not just one look all the way through. The dancers have been fantastic, and they are so up for things that we're throwing at them. They're moving furniture dancing on tables, and Carlos always wanted that. He wanted the dancers to be very physical and involved with the props and the furniture and the set. The challenge with big props that move, that, that dancers have to interact with, is simply that, is getting the interaction right. So we had to find a, a, a language of our own. For example, the horse. We definitely didn't want to have a real horse. So this is a sort of sad horse made of straw and metal and mechanical and quite obviously hand-pulled along. And also, it's a sort of little nod to, to a pantomime horse. Number uh, three in. Designing for dance is its own sort of design. I trained as a theatre designer and I've worked extensively in the theatre, but I've never done a full-scale ballet before. And I've been guided by the, the, the best people in the ballet world, so it's just been a joy, really.